हेलो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज स्वाति देश पांडे टीचर टुडे आई विल बी कवरिंग वन मोर इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक फ्रॉम एट स्टैंडर्ड स्कॉलरशिप आई टी सेक्शन द नेम ऑफ द टॉपिक इज क्लासिफिकेशन इन दैट वी विल बी कॉन्सेंट्रेटिंग ऑन नंबर्स टूडे ओके आई हैव रिटर्न फ्यू सम्स ऑन दोर्ड लेट स्टार्ट सी यर बिफोर वी बिगिन आई वॉन्ट टू टेल यू एनीथिंग रिलेटेड टू नंबर्स विद इट इज सीरीज whether it is analogy whether it is classification and so on you are expected to know different types of numbers in case you don't know i hope you all know this because we have been learning this from fifth standard or even before that but in case you need any help i suggest you see my both videos there are two videos on types of numbers okay let's begin see this first sum your observation plays a very very important role see basic thing is you have to observe the numbers given to you out of those four numbers three will be of same class the one which will be or that number will not follow that class so we need to identify which one is that or one okay so first we need to identify which is the class okay class means what they may be square numbers cube numbers combination of both multiplication subtraction addition addition subtraction combination it can be anything it may be related to uh, twin prime numbers anything but basic operations nothing extraordinary nothing time consuming it is going to be very very easy but we need to observe the numbers properly and identify how are they related okay and one more uh, thing i want to tell you in case there is four digit number or three digit number and you cannot identify the class try to break those numbers it may not be four digit number it may be a combination of two two digit numbers so you have to observe the numbers if need arises break the numbers and then try to find out how are they related i again repeat operations involved will be very very basic and which you all know based on types of numbers okay chalo first one observe first thing give some time to observe how are these numbers are they following any particular class i cannot see any square number except this 64 here then what is it here again first thing is addition fatafat addition karke dekho addition same hai nahi hai multiplication same hai kuch to hai so let's do it 3 into 8 24 24 2 48 okay 2 into 6 12 12 into 4 48 4 into 4 16 16 into 3 48 8 into 3 24 24 into 1 24 so multiplication of these three digits in these three options is coming to 48 only this one is not 48 so this is odd see basic multiplication 3 into 8 into 2 one one digit multiplication nothing great okay so here we are using just the multiplication okay let's go ahead observe this denominators are mostly except this all are square numbers so you should take a hint from this 100 means the square of 10 can i get 10 from this 73 yes 7, 7 plus 3 is 10 10 square is 100 So here, let me try. One plus five is six. Six square is thirty-six. Yes, correct. Five plus four nine. Nine square is eighty-one. Correct. Four plus two six. Six square is not forty-eight. So this is odd. See, basic concept of square numbers has given us two marks here. Isn't it easy? Next one. Again, this number three digit. Here, breaking of numbers was not required. we just multiplied all three digits and we got the answer here we have to break the numbers why because i can see 36 here which is a square 64 here 4 here and 25 here so they are squares so so possibility is there 
that that might help me right so i'm breaking it like this and checking yes 6 square is 36 8 square is 64 2 square is 4 but 4 square is not 25 so this is all next one observe this here again 64 27 and 125 are cubes 256 is square so don't just take it as a correct answer you have to check even these 15 12 13 they have given these numbers for a reason isn't it just looking at 256 you should not choose that that may be the correct option but still 64 is a cube of 4 can i take 4 from this 13 yes 1 plus 3 is 4 and 4 cube is 64 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 cube is 27. 1 plus 5 is 6, 6 cube is not 256. 1 plus 4, 5, 5 cube is 125. So this one is odd. Isn't it interesting? Next one. Again, as I told you in the beginning, there are 4 digit numbers. So probability is that we might have to break them. How to break them? That is intelligence test. Observe the numbers. If I break 98 and 18, is it, is it going to help me? Or should I break it 1, 1 digit? Or should I make a combination of 1 digit and 2 digit? See here I am trying to break it like this. Let me see. 9 into 8 is 72. No. 5 into 7 is 35. Correct. 3 into 9 is 27. Correct. 6 into 8 is 48. Correct. So, this one is not correct. So, our answer is first option. Students, you must have observed by now the operations involved or the knowledge required to solve these sums is very, very basic knowledge. Only thing is observation. If one logic is not correct, try something else, right? Try with some other logic, try with some other numbers, okay? Chalo, aage badte hai. Students, see this sixth sum. Numbers are four digits, so probability that we might have to break it. Where and how to break it? Observe the numbers. Numbers are not very big. When we break it, they can be three digit, two digit or one digit. See? Very, very simple. Basic operations, again, operations involved are going to be very, very basic and simple. So, don't try to get involved in the big, big operations. Okay? No need. Basic operations are sufficient for you to arrive at correct answer. See, I am breaking them like this. One digit, two digit, one digit. Basic 1 1 digit addition 6 plus 5 11 9 plus 8 17 7 plus 6 is not 15 1 plus 9 is 10 so only this addition is wrong so this is wrong or one out okay isn't it easy tell me chal aage hai what is the next one can you figure it out? Here basic addition. There are many concepts. Twin prime, triangular numbers, squares, cubes, divisibility tests of various numbers which is there as a part of your syllabus. Nothing great. Okay. So here I am using divisibility test because I have realized Addition of all the digits, 4 plus 5 plus 1 is 10. Here it is 3 plus 2, 5, 5 plus 4, 9. 1 plus 5 plus 3 is also 9. 1 plus 6 plus 2 is also 9. So these three numbers are divisible by 9. But this one, the addition being 10, is not divisible by 9. Here you are expected to know the divisibility of 9. Okay? So all the numbers whose divisibility is a part of your syllabus, you must know. Okay? Chalo. Next one. They are fractions. 
they may or may not be fractions but first i am trying with fractions as they are they have common factors i am trying to reduce them 6 3s are 6 2s are so it is 3 upon 2 8 3s are 8 2s are so it is again 3 upon 2 2 3s are 2 2s are 3 upon 2 again 18 2s are 18 1s are this is wrong once you know this or one is clearly visible isn't it okay next one is very interesting observe again observe the numbers your spoon feeding is not going to help you students you have to observe the numbers basically you have to play with numbers what can be done if this doesn't work okay doesn't matter try something else here I can see 25 is a square, 36 is a square, 4, 9, okay, 81, 1, 64, here there is no square, 49 is there, yes. So let me see, now 25 is a square of 5 and 6 ka square hai 36. So they have given like this, cross 6 square here, 5 square on top. So, 2 square on top, 3 square down, 9 square on top, 81 and 1 square down. Now, here, four, 7 square they should have given here, 49 should have been here and 4 ka square 16 they should have given down. They have not done it properly here, so this is odd 1. Isn't it easy? Yeah, 6 square 36, 5 square 25, 2 square 4, 3 square 9, 9 square 81, 1 square 1. Then here it is not correct. Okay. I hope it is visible here. Otherwise I will rub this and write again. Okay. This is 34. This is 34 upon this. Very, very easy, isn't it? Okay, chalo. Aage badte hai. Next one, which is the last sum. Observe the numbers again. Three digits, so we might have to break them. How to break them? See, breaking the number should help us. Otherwise, it doesn't make any sense. See, I can see... 4 is a factor of 12, 7 is a factor of 21, 9 is a factor of 27. But here there is something wrong. 4 into 3 is 12. 7 into 3 is 21, 9 into 3 is 27. But here 4 into 3 is not 26. So this one is odd. So students, how easy it is? Basically observation and when you solve more and more sums like this, your confidence level goes up because you know how to handle the or how to observe. See in certain pattern you have to observe. Observe means what? Just looking at the numbers it is not going to give you answer. You have to think simultaneously. So that thinking process should be built. How it can be done? By practice. You solve as many sums as you can. Not about only of classification. Entire IT. Because IT is such a topic. Sky is the limit. So as you come across many, 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 many different concepts. Different approaches. Okay. So you will know how they can twist the particular sum. In which different patterns they can ask you the question. Okay, so practice is the main key factor here. Okay, students, we are through with this important chapter now. In case you have any query, please put them in the comment section. I will definitely try to answer them. Okay, students, if you enjoy my videos, then share them with more and more students. Okay, and in case you have not yet subscribed to my channel, please do that. And I will come with the next video very, very soon. Till then, Study well and very important thing is, yes, enjoy studying. Bye.